Hey Soul Family, happy super blue moon. I just want to start out by saying how much I love all of you and <clears throat> how much I appreciate all of you. I hope that you can feel the love that I have for all of you right now at this moment. Just wanted to express some gratitude for all of you that tune in, for all of you that show me love, for all of you that comment, for all of you that reach out and show gratitude and love to me. We are going to see, whoa, that flew out right away, what this new moon is bringing in, blue moon, sorry, is bringing in for us. Justice, right off the bat. This is my Lisa Frank deck. Move this over a bit for you. Can you see better? That I created. So we have justice. This is about getting what we deserve. Right? Let me get my pendulum out of there for a minute. Whatever you give out is what you get back. As above... So below, as within, so without. If you're giving out love, you'll get love back. If you're giving out hate, you'll get hate back. The devil. And the last card is the fool. Alright, so let's pull a clarifier for this devil card. Why do we have this devil card here? We have justice getting what we deserve and we have a new start, but it's crossed by the devil, which is our present energy, which is the, the card of temptations and limited beliefs, bad habits and destruction. Things which no longer serve us, right? I need to move this or something. No matter what, I can't seem to find a healthy... <laughs> I know this... I'm trying to find something that I can put here so my cards will connect smoothly, but it's not working out. I just need to get this white thing off of here. Put a new one down. I have plenty. I just haven't had a chance to do it. Just running full throttle with this creative energy. Why is the devil card here? So we need to figure out why us getting what we deserve, which, you know, most of us deserve heaven on earth because we have put in so much work. We have done so much for the collective and we've done it selflessly, not because we want we did it for the rewards we did it because we love right and there's our fresh start right the fool but it's crossed by the devil Ooh, there's some lying and manipulation going on that's why the devil's there so anytime there's any type of manipulation or lying going on around us it's because somehow we're lying to ourselves because the world and the universe is our mirror, right? So as a collective, we need to figure out where are we lying to ourselves? Where are we not being completely honest? How are we preparing for this new energy, this fool energy, right? This fool in love. Hmm? Yes, you can. What's May up, May? Put Hold on. Okay, so I think we need to embrace the shadow aspect of ourselves, which is coming out during this Pisces full moon. What are we lying to ourselves about? What do we need to face? What do we have to let go of? I know it's going to be different for everyone, right? 
What's the advice for how to get rid of this double energy? What's the advice? What is the energy that we need to embrace and embody to get rid of this double energy? Come in. Okay, so you're not going to believe this. Sorry about all the interruptions. We have justice again. So the way out of this devil energy is to find balance within ourselves. We have to equal out our energy. We have to give and equally get. We have to receive and equally give. We have to love others as much as we love ourselves. And we have to love ourselves as much as we love others. We can't overgive. We can't people please. We have to follow our path and give un just enough to other people to assist them on their path while still giving most of the love to ourselves. We have to have fierce self-love. Justice came out twice. Justice is about balancing out your energy. It's Libra energy. Libras crave um, the balancing of the scales. But it's also about getting what you deserve. So what do you think you deserve? Okay. If you know that you've been giving out nothing but beautiful energy, then you're not afraid of karma, are you? It's like that Taylor, Taylor Swift song, right? Twaylor. <clears throat> Mixed between Taylor and Twilight. So it's like that Taylor Swift song, right? Karma. That The new song where she talks about karma and how she keeps her side of the street clean, right? And if we know that we're giving out good karma, then we don't worry about what's coming back to us because we know it's really good things, right? Really, really good things. All the good things, all of them. We don't worry about our karma. Never, never, ever do we worry about our karma because we know it's all good. All right. So let's go on to this tarot deck. This was one of the first tarot decks. I think it was the first tarot deck I ever purchased. This one right here. It is so old. I've had it literally since I was like 15, 16 years old when I first started reading tarot. So this deck reads my energy to a T. And it reads energy, period, to a T. It is the most accurate deck I have. We busting this out for the full moon, for the blue moon. I'm sorry, my kids are out of control. That's full moon energy for you. Everybody acts a damn fool. Nobody wants to freaking take responsibility for their shit. High Priestess. We're just going to rack these cards up. King of Pentacles. Okay, we're back. So, you guys are going to have to use your intuition because there's going to be opportunities for financial and for love to come in. And I feel like for some of you, it's going to be a choice either between two suitors. So, there's two storylines that are coming up. For some of you, this will be... Um, a choice between two suitors. One is offering love. The other one is offering financial stability. And you're going to have to use your intuition to, to figure out which one is the best choice for you. Are you going to choose love or are you going to choose money? And for some of you, this is going to be a literal choice between love or money. So the universe is going to say, do you want this big financial windfall or do you want this love? 
And for some of you, it's going to be both. For those of you that have done the spiritual work, it's both. This is going to be a huge reward for you. It's going to come in as a financial reward and as love. For some of you, you literally have love and money coming in. And you're going to have to use your intuition to figure out the path to get there. Do we have any more advice about this path to love and money? Can you tell us any more about this, please? Stop worrying and stop overthinking it. At night, when the worries start to settle in, meditate, calm your mind, know that it's already yours, see the changes are on the way. Tell us about this love card, please. It's going to come after a huge pause and a huge moment of nothingness it's like there's this energy of nothing's happening nothing's happening nothing's happening there's no movement there's no there's no um for some of you it's going to feel like there's no options in love and then bam there's an offer of love it's going to come out of nowhere i keep channeling this it comes out of nowhere you know, last night I was channeling, oh, it's oh so unexpected, right? And that's how it's going to feel. Tell us about this financial change, please. Thank you, Spirit. Knight of Swords. Well, whatever it is, it's going to come in quickly. For some of you, it's, you're going to have to use a lot of your brain power. Um, it's going to be the type of job where like, you don't necessarily... It's going to come in so quick and you're not necessarily going to have to use a lot of your heart space for this job. So it's going to, it's going to bring you a lot of money, but... For some of you, it's going to feel like, okay, do I really want this job? Because though it's going to make me financially stable, I feel like you're really not going to have the passion for it. You know what I mean? It's just going to be like a super quick opportunity. And whoever offers it to you, it's going to be like, you know, we're offering this to you. Jump on the bandwagon now. They're not even going to want to give you time to think about it because they're just going to want you to start it right away and I feel like for you someone who's who's so used to following your heart and your passion it's going to be a difficult decision because you're going to be like I'm not sure I really want to do this yes I'll be financially stable but is it going to bring my life joy is it going to bring my heart joy right okay All right, so let's see what else is happening for us with this blue moon. So to recap, for some of you, the blue moon is bringing in um, options of love or money. Some of you, it's bringing in options of suitors. For some of you, it's bringing in um, financial stability, but at what cost, right? So many different energies swirling around. It's hard to focus on one. Okay, let's see what's going on in the Department of Love for this blue moon energy. For those of you that have found this reading, grass is greener. Oof, that one flew out. Social media. Huh. 
heartbreak. So someone thought they had it all, didn't they? They thought that the grass was greener on the other side. Um, they were watching you on social media and maybe they thought you moved on. They felt like you were better off without them. They felt like you were happy because from your social media, they thought that, you know, everything was going really great for you, right? So maybe they didn't reach out and they missed their chance. I feel this really heavy energy of someone watching and spying and judging from your social media, which can be very misleading, right? Because we tend to only post the things that are happy in our social media, right? Or most people do, you know, as a collective, like some people are, you know, it's very rare, but some people are real and authentic and they, they will just post whatever, you know, whatever they feel guided to post. But for the most part, most people just post happy moments, right? And so somebody was watching your social media and they thought that you were doing really well without them and they didn't reach out and they feel like they missed their chance. And now they're sitting there and they're alone and they're watching your social media and they feel like you've moved on. There's a whole lot of regret here. They fooled themselves. See, they were trying to be like, look at this energy player. They were trying to pretend like they had options and you were just another conquest, but something happened along the way and they fell in love, didn't they? You were different. They're going to have to surrender in order to get, to get back. To get back home, right? To find their way back to you. Because they can't come into this energy. They can't come in until they surrender to the divine. Or they're going to... Oh, I just said that. Look, if they want to come home, they have to surrender to the divine. They have to surrender to God. They can't be in this energy of like... Of this energy of deception... And, you know, pretending to be someone that they're not on social media, right? They have to come real. They have to be, they have to come authentic. Let me get one more card, please. If they want to come home, they have to be authentic, right? Thank you, Spirit. Yeah, see, they can't. They can't hide. They can't be sneaky like a snake. They have to be real. They have to come. Oh, look. They have to change. Like the butterfly. In order to get to this, the family, the happy family, they have to do the soul work. Someone is just, just starting, you know, the dark night of the soul part of their spiritual journey it's gonna get pretty crazy <laughs> before it gets better we have resentment or anger is blocking your heart chakra forgive and let those feelings go listen to 528 hertz so yes um they may have felt rejected by you, and so they have a lot of anger and resentment. And they need to learn to forgive forgive you and also to forgive themselves. I wish I had better news in this relation in these in the readings today. How is this blue moon 
blue moon energy bringing in all of these toxic shadows. And literally, look, there it says toxic. It says toxic relationships are leaving your life. Loving yourself has attracted more loving relationships into your life. So you left behind the toxic and they were a part of that toxic cycle. They're not quite there yet. But you have done all of your spiritual work. And so whoever this person is, they're feeling that feeling of you moving onward and upward without them. And they feel very left behind. Being grateful for all that we have leads our hearts to overflow with abundance. Give thanks for the things you have and watch your life change. So because you're showing gratitude and saying thank you to the universe, everything's coming to you super easily. And this is making a lot of people feel very resentful and hateful towards you. But they don't know if they do the same things and follow their hearts and follow their passions and lead with love that they can get the same things that you have. You're not special. None of us are special. Follow your passions. See, I just said that. And it will lead your heart to a surplus of love and abundance in all areas of your life. So you're following your path of love. Your heart chakra is unbalanced. You may be heartbroken or dealing with heartbreak. Use this time to surround yourself with people that uplift you. So see, someone here is dealing with a heartbreak. Your person or the person that um, feels like they thought the grass was greener, they may have rejected you or they may feel rejected by you. They're, they're carrying a broken heart and they need to balance their heart chakra. Because it's just going to get, it's like, it's like when you get mad at someone and you want to throw a hot coal at them, but in the process you're hurting yourself because you pick up the hot coal and you're just burning your own hand. You're not hurting them. You might hurt them, but you're going to hurt yourself as well. You cannot pour from an empty cup. Make sure to fill your own before filling others. So again, it comes back to like severe, severe self-love, love. 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 Learn to love yourself first. Always. I always hammer this in for you guys in every reading. Learn to love you. Fill your cup first because you can't fill anyone, fill anyone else's cup without first filling your cup, right? Fill your cup to overflowing and then watch how you have so much cup and love left over to give to other people. Let's see what part of us is being activated during this blue moon. Let's do two of these cards, please, Spirit. We have freedom. Yes, this showed up in our last reading as well. So the freedom to be yourself, the freedom to love who you want to love, the freedom to... Be who you are without the fear of anyone else's opinions. None of that matters. You're truly free when you are you allow yourself to be happy in your own skin. When you allow yourself to love yourself. When you allow yourself to be who you are at the authentic deep parts of your soul. When you integrate every single aspect of yourself. Even the parts that you don't want to love. When you choose to love yourself where you're at right now, not wealthier, not thinner, not, um, you know, more healthy, with more energy, with whatever, choose to love yourself right now. That's the only way that you're going to draw in any type of anything that's real. Is you have to learn to love yourself the way that you love other people. When you can master that lesson, then you're free. You can't learn to love your twin flame or to love anyone else or anybody until you first learn to love yourself because they are going to reflect that love back to you like a mirror. So you have to make sure that your self-love is on point. You have to make sure you're doing those things every day which make you happy or else 
There's no freedom for anyone else to love you. Not truly. So this card says you're releasing any self-imposed restrictions or perceived limitations through the loving energy of openness. Exactly. We're getting rid of those limitations. We're not letting anything hold us back anymore. Okay. We're remaining open. Open heart. Integrity. Open heart, open heart chakra. You demonstrate the truth and honesty of your soul and you manifest love with your every action. See, we are love. Say it with me. I am love. I am love. Anytime that you start to feel down or sad, just repeat this little mantra. This is what I do when I get lost in my head. I say, I am love. My natural state is love. I am love. I don't need to crave love or want love because I am love. That is my true authentic state. I am love. And so paradoxically, when I'm feeling lonely and unloved, I choose to love. I go love someone. And mainly I love on myself. And then I feel that love radiating right back to me in a beautiful green light aura of heart chakra energy flooding back to me from mother earth we are love okay so let's um we're gonna pull some more cards from the light seers tarot deck and then we are going to end with the a Rumi oracle card all right what is the final message you want my listeners and subscribers to know for the blue moon. What do we got? What is the final message, Spirit? Thank you. Oops. That was a shitty ass shuffle. <laughs> Spirit's like, what in the fucking shit? See, that's my authentic. I cost like a sailor. It's ridiculous, but it is who I am. It comes natural as F. <laughs> natural as food. I'm a spiritual gangster. You know, it is what it is. I am light. I am dark. I am fierce. I am meek. I'm a thug. I'm a lover. I'm an angel. I'm a fighter. I'm a devil. I'm an angel. Two of swords. Seven of wands. So whoever this is for, you don't have to defend your decisions. If you're trying to discover what decision to make, you're at a crossroads. Which road do I take? It doesn't matter. Take the road that you want to take. You don't have to defend your position or your decisions to anyone else. Okay? Trust your guidance. Trust your enlightened self. Temperance. Sagittarius energy. Four of Wands. Spirit is asking you to be patient with patient with yourself. You've come so far. The time of celebrating and making love and tasting the fruits of your labor and the juiciness of your soul is all coming into manifest. You just have to be patient. I know we keep saying that, but it's true. It's right around the corner. There it is. Boom. Two of cups. Do you see this? There's your reward. Tell us more about the two of cups. There's your reward. There's your soulmate, twin flame, person, divine love, sacred union. It's your celebrating at the end of the road, right? 
all roads lead back to you. Tell us more about this Two of Cups. What else do we need to know about this Two of Cups? Ace of Wands. It's a very, 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 did I say very? Passionate love affair with yourself and with this person. Could be a fire sign. Lots of passion. You're going to have a lot of crown chakra activations when this person um, when you're around this person so they say once you meet your twin flame there's going to be a period of crown chakra activations I posted something excuse me in my community um, it was a community post on my community on YouTube, and it was a video that a woman had made about twin flames, and she talks about the crown chakra activations between twin flames. You should watch that video. There's a heavy, heavy energy of crown chakra activations um, coming through from this reading. So, like, when you meet this person or when you're around this person, you're going to feel like you're getting massive downloads from the divine because you are. Four of Swords. This chair is so squeaky. The Hanged Man, again. Wow, we keep getting the moon energy. So this blue moon in Pisces, it's bringing up a whole lot of feelings of serenity and calm and peace everyone's taking a pause they're taking a step back we're all trying to decide what it is that we want what it is that we love what it is that sets our soul on fire there's a lot of light codes coming through light language codes some of you are finding your union some of you are finding yourself. Some of you are um, fixing your broken hearts. Please hear it. King of Wands. There's a whole lot of passion that's coming through for a lot of you right now. Um, there's a lot of Leo energy. And we just had, you know, a new moon in Leo. Either we did or it's coming up. I can't remember. I can't recall. My timelines are all fucked up right now with all of these swirling energies around. It was just 3339 on my phone. That is incredible. Such a Tesla sync. You cannot fucking make that up. Nikola. Um, the power of the universe. It's all here. So there's heavy Leo energy in the air. Um, we just left Leo season. We're going into Virgo. But for some of you, you're passionately going towards your goals. And people are feeling passionate about you. There are so many new energies unfolding. And I feel for a lot of you divine feminines, your masculines are going to finally come forth with this passion that has been hidden for so long and when it comes out it's going to be like diarrhea of the mouth they're just going to blah, 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 blah. it's like every emotion they ever shoved deep inside for you they hit it and they locked it away it's just going to come flooding out like a like like this it's going to just drown them and it's going to drown you and it's going to feel overwhelming and it's going to feel strange and you're almost going to be like in this energy like pausing and sitting there and not being sure what to do because so much is going to come out so quickly. 
they've held it in for so long that this king of wands energy is just going to burst out. They're just going to be literally bursting at the heart chakra. They're not used to feeling this type of overwhelming love connection. Every time they felt it, they shoved it down and they shoved it down and they shoved it down. And now during this super moon in Pisces, this very rare blue moon, it's a, you ever hear that saying it's once in a blue moon? Well, this once in a blue moon is happening. Put it out there and claim it. They cannot hold it back any longer. This is their once in a blue moon chance to come forward and to, I almost feel like I can't even like talk. Like I just, there's so much that I want to just like start saying and it feels like, like it's like the divine masculine, right? Like I'm feeling, I'm feeling this weird sense of like, uh, like urgency. Like I have to get this out. Like I just want to almost scream from my throat chakra if that makes sense it's like it feels like such a relief to say I love you and that's how they're gonna feel it's gonna be very intense and for some of you it's gonna feel overwhelming and I feel like most of the divine feminines are gonna be sitting there pausing they're not gonna know how to respond there's going to be like crickets and silence as she thinks it over. She's not going to be sure how to react or vice versa, you know. For some of you, it's been such a long, long, long time coming. And I keep hearing that song. I've been waiting for this moment. All my life. Hold on. I can feel it coming in the air tonight. Hold on. Yeah, that's what it feels like. It's an overwhelming sense of peace and calm like a river. But the only reason it's there is because you've already found the calm and the peace within yourself. You don't need anyone else to make that calm and peace for you because you created it for yourself. All right, let's end with this roomy oracle card. It's been a beautiful reading. Um, I'm sorry, it was all over the place. There were so many energies swirling through. There are so many new changes happening for the collective. For so many different people, it's going to be so many different things. And I just couldn't pinpoint one that I wanted to focus on. That's the problem with being an energy reader. Sometimes during the full moons, and especially this beautiful, rare blue moon, the energy is very intense, and I'm picking up on everybody's hopes and dreams. And it feels so lovely, y'all. This is the final message. Star Mother Arrakis. Number 23. Add three and two, it's five. It's the number of change. Big happy changes. As my son, August, he's 11. He likes to call him that. He says, whenever he sees five, five, five on the clock, he goes, mom, big happy changes. Are you ready for him? That's what he says to me. And I always say, sure, sure, I'm ready. I'm ready for anything. All right, be the king who has made his own kingdom. Be the moon that has made her own summit. Didn't I just say we made our own peace? How much longer will you cuckoo like a pigeon? Empty your head of all mortal lust and become life without breath. You will not call out for God anymore for you have become immersed in God. I was just talking about how when you align yourself up to God and to the divine, there's no need to fear anything because you are in the energy of God. You are the energy of God. You become the presence of God and God flows within you and you flow within God and you are one. And so nothing can touch you because you are God. 
You are the energy of God and God is in you and you are in God and you are one with the divine energy of God and source. And there's no line between your energies. There's no difference between your energy and the energy of God. Your star mother, Arrakis, dances with your soul on the celestial inner planes. She dances in the embrace of Father Sky, shining white and pale, deep in devotion to the light behind all that is. Arrakis, dancing star of the heavens, incites our souls to feel the rhythm of life and surrender to it in flow, in grace, stumbling and in play. Like a child who thinks not of the right steps, but just moves with the music and with joy, she reminds you to dance freely and from your heart. She reminds you that your soul is constantly dancing with the divine. Yes, let the divine love you. Make love to the divine and allow the divine to dance with your soul. What better way to connect with the joy and beauty of your soul than to mimic its movements? So dance, beloved. Let your being dance. Oh, Arrakis, your bright beauty penetrates even the darkest of minds to remember, remember, remember. She calls out. Her voice is music to our hearts. You are a child of heaven. You are born of such regal stuff, dear dancing child of the stars. When you suffer, I send you my comfort as stars falling from the sky. When you triumph, my dance becomes wild and light erupts from my heart in all directions. The light becomes music, stirring within you an urge almost inexplicably, inexplicable and yet so very deep and real to make music, to create art, to dance, to play, and to be at one with the joyful creative energy that dwells within you, beloved. Wow. So no ill shall befall you when you become one with the creator. When you have become one with God and when you let the divine eat, sleep, love and breathe with you. And I'll say it once again, there'll be no difference between your energy and the energy of God, the energy of the divine. There's no difference between your energy and the energy of God because you will be so intertwined with the energy of love and of God. Allow that love into yourself because you are that love. Feel that light shine deep into your soul. I had a dream once of a divine masculine and he met me in the stars. And there in the astral realm, we spoke to each other with no words. We just stood there floating amongst the stars speaking to each other through our thoughts. And it was the most amazing and beautiful experience and dream I've had yet in this astral plane. And it was very much real, just as I'm sitting here speaking with you and talking to you and, you know, spilling forth these lessons from God straight to your beautiful ears. He looked me deep into my eyes and he told me secrets of life and of love. And this divine masculine has came to me over and over again in different dreams. And in different dreams, he welcomes me home. He sits with me in the water and he welcomes me in the water. And we play like children in the water and we love and we kiss and we welcome each other home and we embrace and we love and sometimes we make love. And there's always different beautiful things surrounding us. Stars, water, nature. There's always such beautiful scenery in these dreams when he comes to me. And I've always tried to sit there and analyze what they meant. And then I stopped 
and I just decided to just enjoy them and just flow with them because the stars if you look up what stars means in any dream book stars represent nothingness it's a state of pure nothingness you know it's it's everything and yet it's nothing and so him and I existed in a state of everything and yet nothing. We, there was a suspension. We existed only in that moment for each other. In nothing and yet in everything. It was a moment in time, a blip, a space. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this reading and I love you so, so very fiercely. I hope that you felt all of the love and the beautiful energy I'm sending you on this wonderful, beautiful blue moon. May all of you get everything that you are trying to manifest in this blue moon. That is what I wish for all of you in the depths of my beautiful, beautiful heart that all of your dreams manifest in, in, in like this beautiful miracle your life can change overnight. You can wake up and everything that you have been hoping for is there because it is there. Claim it, align with it, feel it, love it, and live it. My beautiful followers, I love you so much. If you've found this reading, it's because you're meant to be here in this profound space of love and healing with me. I am overwhelmed with all the deep love and emotions I'm feeling right now for all of you. And I hope you can feel it. I'm beaming it out to you. I'm beaming you so many, um, so many good vibes and energy of love and miracles and manifestation. Claim it because you are all of those. You are a miracle. You are love. You are light. You are God. And you are part of the divine order of all of the cosmos. We love you so much. All right, if this reading resonated with you and you'd like to book a reading with me, all of my information is in the description box. You can book a reading with me on Goldie. Um, also, please thumb up the video and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything that I upload. I'm going to be uploading way more. And as you see, I'm on a roll. I'm not giving up. I'm going to continue to bring the messages to the collective. If you like this video and share it and subscribe, it helps me to get my message out to more people. And it will burst the algorithm open with authentic love and good energy and um, positive frequencies and higher vibes higher frequency of a vibration of love resonate always to the vibration of love it's the only thing that's real my loves i love you